Good morning. The president's team is there to dismantle the Constitution of the United States. And some of them are even lawyers. Imagine that you would say ever of any president, no matter who he or she is or whatever party, if the president thinks that his or her presidency, in this case his presidency, is good for the country, then any action is justified, including including encouraging a foreign government to have an impact on our elections, which is exactly what our founders were opposed to, and they feared. The president seems to be emulating a French king who said, l'état c'est moi, the state, it's me. No. Article 2 does not say you can do whatever you want. The Constitution does not say that. But these, but these, I don't know how they can retain their lawyer status in the comments that they are making. I just pray, I just pray that the senators will have the courage and the ability to handle the truth instead of blocking the truth from themselves in the decision and from the American people. When this is over, do you think that President Trump will be chastened and understand that he's got a Congress watching him? Or will he be emboldened because the Senate will have acquitted him? Well, he will not be acquitted. You cannot be acquitted if you don't have a trial. And you don't have a trial if you don't have witnesses and documentation and, and that. I would hope that the, the senators, if it comes to a tie or if there's a question of hearing testimony or doc receiving documents, would leave it up to the chief justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, Republican appointed uh, in a Republican majority court, I would think that they would have confidence in the chief justice of the United States. That's his, really his title. And that's interesting to me that they're afraid of a breaking a tie with the uh, Chief Justice of the United States. Does the president know right from wrong? I don't think so. We have a situation. We have a situation where, again, the fate of our nation is riding on the, how this is resolved. It isn't about just one person. It's about the precedent that it sets for the future. It's not about whether you like Donald Trump or not. It's not about person. It's not personal. It's not political. It's not partisan. It's about patriotism. It's about undermining the system of checks and balances, and that is what they are doing on the Senate floor. And in, in these days, I guess they'll go in about one o'clock today. How shameful of them! We did our job. We had a strong case of impeachment of the President of the United States. No matter what the senators have the courage or not to do, he will be impeached forever. And the CIA was 